okay so what's good everybody welcome back to yet another video so in today's video basically we are someone said i said i say basically a lot which is true also guys like i start to a bit when i talk like it's not noticeable but it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen so that's just about it okay so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you some of the boot camps that are available in south africa so basically i'll just give you the name um also the tech stack that they do teach in the boot camp whether they are registered with CETA or also whether um they are free or are they or whether they are dom right so that's just about it so let's get straight into the video okay so in this list they are not listed in any particular order also guys we've got a friend so i drink green tea for fun like okay but this is not green tea it's green tea but it's mint you know okay without further ado also so with some of these boot camps um some of them are sponsored and some of them you're guaranteed a job offer or a job opportunity once you complete the boot camp so that's one of the like coolest things about some of the boot camps that i'm about to mention um not but like you can just go check with which ones will offer you a job but some of them are, are quite popular so you should definitely check them out okay okay so the very first um boot camp that is a, that is in in south africa so basically we have within coach within code is one of the most like famous popular uh, almost every developer would know about or one a, a developer wannabe or whatever everybody who's in the tech space would know about um within code so basically within code is based in johannesburg and cape town so basically they offer you a two-year course also they teach full stack development um also they are credited uh by CETA and obviously they are free of charge so these are the type of boot camps that you want to look into because i'm not saying the ones that you pay for is wrong but if you don't have money come um consider within code i mean i, I i've seen um, a couple of people who've been through uh, Within Code, but I don't personally know a person who's been to Within Code. So, um, yeah, I don't have much to say about it, but you can go check it out. Okay. Okay, so next up we have Umuzi, which is available in Cape Town as well and Johannesburg. So basically, they offer you a one year course, and the top of tech. Uh, that they teach is web development um data science and you know data engineering user experience um strategy and ui design and then they are uh mic mict ceta accredited so basically even um what's you, what you call this within code is also mic mict ceta accredited right and also the boot camp cost nothing nada nothing okay it's free i mean so also check that out it's called umuzi okay so basically next up we have uh project code x which is only available in cape town at the moment and it's a nine month course so basically they teach you uh, full stack development just like within code and they also um, accredited by MICT CETA um, and guess what it costs to be in the bootcamp nothing probably there's tests that you need to write as well to go through into the bootcamps because um, what I a, a, a within code does get you a job after the um, internship whatever whatever uh, so you write a test before you enter into the bootcamp. So look it up guys. This is like free information um, I mean the fact that the bootcamps are free up for grabs um, So basically some of these are not just teach and then whatever they place you in a job and and voila Okay <laughs> So next up we have code space, right? So code space is also um in 
Cape Town at the moment. Um, yeah, and they offer a 15 week to 17 weeks um, course. So basically they do like your um, full stack web dev, full stack web dev, which include your HTML, CSS, J, uh, JavaScript, PHP, MySQL, dun 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 dun, you get the drill. So yeah, I mean, there's no React or there's no Angular or anything. That's what I, I got from here. And they're also accredited by MIC, MICT CETA. And yeah, unfortunately, fortunately, um, for this one, you have to pay. So basically for their 15 week program, you have to pay up 29,500 Tundasakaya rands. And then for the 17 week program, it's 37,000 rands, 500, 500, 500 rands. <laughs> they offer also bursary programs. So um, yeah, please do check it out if you're in Cape Town. Look it up and get yourself involved. Um, yeah. So next up, we've got Quirky30. Um, yo, Sana Quirky30. Who would have... Doesn't sound programmy like, but anyway, that's besides the point. Okay, so they are basically in Cape Town. Seems like most of these boot camps are in Cape Town, but not most of them, but the ones that I have listed. Okay, so um, yeah, so basically they offer a one year course, and uh, what they teach is web and mobile development, AWS cloud platform graphic design, online digital marketing, and they are not accredited by MIC CETA. So basically you just get a complete completion, a certificate of completion, I'm assuming, that you did a you know, program of some sorts. And um, yeah, just an assumption, I'm not quite sure, but I think if it's a program, then you, it's you most likely to get like a certificate, but it's not um, okay well. I'm not sure when this was, when this list was uh, released, but at the time of the release, I'll add that on my description box. So you can also check it out. Probably they might have, you know, been accredited by now. I'm not quite sure. So you can, you know, check that out. Um, so yeah, and also good thing about it is that it is free. <laughs> so I'm not sure if they also place you in a job. Uh, but yeah, it's free. So um, just go check it out, do some research on it, and that's that and that. So next up we have Kappa City. Yeah, actually it's Kappa City though. But like because it's a C, it, it can't be a Kappa. I mean, I'm reading it in class and English-ish. Kappa City. <laughs> so Kappa City uh, is available in various um, cities in the country. So that includes Cape Town, Johannesburg, Port Elizabeth, and Durban. So basically it's a course that uh, is between 9 and 12 months. You yeah, understand? Yes. So I think it varies um, on, on the type of course that you're going to be taking because they also um, offer like a variety of, of, of courses. So they would have software development, Java development and full stack development. And at the time this list was released, they were not accredited by CETA and also, but uh, it does cost you a little bit of money, right? But it said it's a paid forward. So I'm assuming as far as, I think I did research about what paid forward is or what it means. So paid forward basically would mean that, so if you, it's like a bursary. If we give you a bursary, you have to work for the company for a number of months or years to pay off the bursary. So basically, the course, uh, the courses are worth uh, between thirty thousand rands to sixty thousand rands. So basically, you have to pay it back by working for them, which is amazing because you're also getting a salary match out, okay, and experience, and you're paying it forward as well. So amazing, you know, it's a win-win situation. But um, check it out. Okay, so next up we have Tsimbulukhong. Um, 
Skills Academy. It's only in Johannesburg and it's a one year course. So basically what they teach is software development. So that includes C Sharp or Java. And then they also, you know, offer A plus, CCNA and database fundamentals. And that's that on that. In terms of um, accreditation, that is still pending at the time of you know of the release of this um, list. So basically, they could have they could be accredited by now. You can check it out. Then the good thing about it, um, it is cost free. <laughs> it's absolutely free. So please do check it out if you're in Johannesburg. Simulho, that's the name. So next up, we have Hyper and Dev. I mean, you probably have seen it because those guys literally uh, place their ads on every social network, right? You will know about them. You know, like they will, they are those guys who are saying, let it be known that we are here. Okay, so basically Hyperion Dev is available in Cape Town and Johannesburg. Basically, it's a six month course, six months course, and three months course in WD. I don't know what that is. SE is six months, and WD. What is WD? Oh, software engineering and web development. That's an assumption. So, basically, six months uh, to do your software engineering course, and then three months um, to do your web development. So, basically, they offer software engineering and web development and they some of their courses not all of them some of them you have now that's your homework to go check out which of the courses are accredited if you want to do a course that is accredited and yeah some of them are accredited by the MICT CETA and basically there is prizes there is prizes okay so if you're Doing it part time, you could pay up eight thousand nine hundred rands per month, and then, or you could pay up forty two thousand rands upfront. Then full time, fifteen thousand rands per month, or thirty nine thousand rands upfront. Also, I'm assuming that the prices might have changed because I think this list is slightly older. If it's not two years older, but I think it's still relevant. I doubt any of them will fly by night where and then the the following year it's a salon. Um yeah, I'm assuming they're still there. Uh but the prices might have slightly gone up um due to inflation, my child. Okay, so do check it out, do your research. So this, that, and that. Okay. So next up we have MLib um code tribe. MLib code tribe. So basically it's in Gauteng. It is in Swane, Soweto, and Timbisa. Guys, if you reside in those places, please get yourself in uh, enrolled in these courses and courses. Is it courses? Yo, well, <laughs> please get yourself en enrolled. So their courses are six months long. So do get onto it. Okay. So basically, what they are specializing in, what do what they specialize in, is mobile development. So basically, they use Ionic framework, front end and back end. So that's even amazing because at this point, they have established themselves using a framework and a language Kubane, they are focused uh, human beings they're not being vague they like this is exactly what we are about so if you want to learn ionic and develop in it you know where you to go but that's if you are in Gauteng in Tuane, Soweto and Timbisa so do check it out and they are not accredited and that's that on that uh good thing it is free of charge so like i said they do offer you know you can't complete a course and not get a certificate but anyway yeah it is completely free so so next up we've got code college which is based in cape town the mother city and it's a six month long course and what they teach in there is full stack web 
and web development so uh, it's the same thing i don't know why but you yeah so they use python um and then they have mobile or progressive web app um they also have java and they are accredited by mict CETA, which is great i mean if it matters <laughs> if it does great if not still great i mean why not um so basically here they have an entry course uh that costs uh eight thousand nine hundred and ninety five rings so this cost must have went up these are not the you know so these are an approximation Okay, so you can do your research, like I said, and then their boot camp costs fifty nine thousand nine hundred and seventy at the time of the release of this list. Okay, so now that you have a list, do what you will with the information I just provided. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do comment if you have been in any of the boot camps and. How was your experience? Would you recommend it? I've already had people who were giving thumbs up to boot camps, and I'm so glad that I've grown to 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 know this, you know, and be open to, you know, you can not learn enough. You can still have a degree and still go to a boot camp if you get on saying. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and a goodbye.